Hi, this is Josh from Lita, where our goal is to explain Lico problems as simple and concise as we can. Today, we'll be looking at solving the merge two sort of list problem. Similar to some of the other linked list problems, these problems are a good practice for being able to do pointer manipulation. And looking at data for the past six months, this question has been asked a lot in Amazon interviews. So if that's a company you're aiming for, make sure you understand your linked list questions. In this problem, our goal is to merge two sorted linked lists and return a sorted list. It's important to note that the list has to be made by slicing together nodes through pointer manipulation, as opposed to creating a new list node and adding it to our sorted list. So example one is pretty straightforward. We have two linked lists, one, two, four, one, three, four. When we add them together, our end result will be a linked list of one, one, two, two, three, and then two fours. Example two, we're given two empty linked lists. The end result is a linked list. In example three, we're given an empty linked list and a linked list of zero. The end result is just zero. Solving this problem is pretty straightforward. We have two list nodes that we can merge together here. here. The first thing we need to do is create a list node that will store our new node. A common strategy to solve these type of problems is to create a fake head node to store our answer as fake. And then we can just traverse through both nodes and compare the values and see whichever one is less. Then add the smaller node to our list and then move our pointer to the next value. The hard part of this problem is to understand all the pointer manipulation that needs to be done, which we'll show later in the live coding. On the high level, we would check we will compare one and one, and since they're all the same, we would just take the, the one from our first link list, then move our pointer. Then we compare one and two, and we see that one is smaller, so we add that to our node. Then we move that pointer forward. Then we compare two and three, and since two is smaller, we add that to our answer node. And note that we're actually slicing this list node from the link list that it's from and adding it to our fake node. I'm just not showing that here. But we move this pointer forward. Then we compare three and four. We see that three is smaller. Add that to our answer list. We we'll slice it to our answer list. And then we move our pointer forward. And then finally, we have four and four, add our first four into the fake node, move the pointer forward, and then now this is empty. And now that one of our pointer is null, we can just take the rest of, we can take the remaining nodes from the other list, which in this instance is just four, and then add it to our answer node. And then once we have all of that, we just need to return our answer. So dot next this, which then would return these list nodes, giving us our answer. And the runtime of this algorithm would be O of n, because we are going through all of these elements. And the space time complexity would be O of one, because we're not creating any new nodes. We're only creating one list node that would be used to point to our answer. Now, I only went through the problem on a high level. There's actually quite a bit of pointer manipulation involved. We'll look in more detail at the pointer manipulation in the live code. On to the coding part. The first thing we need to do is we need to create that fake node. We also need to create a current pointer to follow the node as we continue to build up on it. Otherwise, if we move our headless node, otherwise, if we use the headless node, we'll lose track of the beginning of our link list. Right. So on the whiteboard, what we have right now is we have our fake link list, which is right here, fake. And we have our current pointer, which is right here. Like I mentioned, like we mentioned earlier, we need to iterate through both of our link lists until one of them is empty. What we want to do now is compare the value of the current node that we're at with each other. 
and see whichever one is smaller and then add that to our answer. So what we've done here is that we have our L1 pointer and our L2 pointer, and we compare them with each other. If our L1, that value, is less than or equal than our L2 value, then we would set our current, which is right here, next to be L1. So that essentially would just set that pointer to this node, and then we move our L1 to be l1.next. Notice that the pointer that we had from our L1, but we don't have to worry about removing it because we will be using our current value to set the .next value in the next iteration, for example, over here. So it's not necessary for us to set the next value to be null. No, it wouldn't hurt if we did. And now that we've added our, f and now that we spliced our first node, we need to move our current forward so that it's actually at the end of the list so that the next value would add to the end of our And I would just move this over here. And then we repeat our algorithm. One is smaller than two. So we go to our else case. We would set our current.next to be this node. And then we move our L2 pointer to the next node. Then we move our current pointer to the next value. And then we just kind of repeat this until we've reached the end of the node. Two is smaller than three, so we move that over. Move the pointer forward by one. Then we move our current pointer forward. You see that three is smaller than four, so we go to our else case. Then we move our L2 pointer to the next value. And then because four is less than or equal to the other four, we'll move the L1 node. And then we move our L1 to be L1.next, which in this instance, node doesn't point to anything, it's, it's null. For clarity, let me just draw these arrows. And then we move our current all the way to the last current node. Finally, our while statement is no longer true. Our L1 is null. So the trick here is that both nodes cannot be at empty at the same time. We only have one pointer that's pointing to an empty node, which means the other node must have something left over. So what we need to do now is to check which one of our node is empty and then add the remaining nodes of our other pointer into our answer. In this instance, because our L1 is null, we just set our current on next to be whatever is left of our L2, which in this instance is just four. And now that we have done that, we have our sorted list and we just need to return it. Specifically, we want to return our head dot next starting from here. Now let's submit our answer. Run code, see everything compiles, does. Let's submit it and see how we go. Pull it up, and there we go. And that's it for the merge two sort of this question. The key lesson here is to learn how to handle pointer manipulation. And the number one advice I would give to someone starting out on this is to draw step by step the pointer manipulation that you need to do in order to achieve your results, and then transcribe that into code. Now, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to get weekly and maybe even daily updates. Otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, bye and have a great day.